Um, it, this is not conservatism, what they have. It's a, it, they, pre they pretend to be conservatives, but they have torn the conserve out of conservatism. They, uh, you know, all of the things like uh, uh, free market capitalism, which they hate. You know, they want corporate crony capitalism, and, and, uh, uh, and they want capitalism for the poor and socialism for the rich. And, uh, uh, and, they, and, and you know, and separation of church and state, which was one of the pillars of conservative protection of the Constitution, which uh, Goldwater considered, you know, was absolutely reverential about the Constitution. But these people have torn, destroyed the Constitution. We are now torturing people in this country. We are wiretapping our citizens. We are, uh, we are, we've suspended the 820-year-old right of habeas corpus. We've suspended our protections against search and seizure. And it's the biggest bunch of, of baloney when they say to us, oh, well, you know, we live in dangerous times. This is what, if you really look at it, and I have friends who died in the World Trade Center attack. My offices were destroyed in that, that attack. But objectively, we live in one of the safest times in the history of this planet, you know, for Americans. Because when I was a little boy, you know, and we had 15,000 nuclear-tipped warheads in Russia pointing at our country, each one able to destroy an entire city, that was dangerous times. But we didn't wiretap our citizens. We didn't torture people then. You know, we didn't suspend habeas corpus. We didn't uh, try to send people to Guantanamo or do extraordinary renditions to torture people in Syria. You know, during the Civil War, during the Civil War, you know, we lost entire cities. 640,000 Americans, not 3,000, 640,000 were killed. It's the equivalent of 6 million people being killed today. And Abraham Lincoln said, when, when they talked about torturing Southerners or mistreating them, he, he drafted a document for how we treat prisoners and it later became the Geneva Convention because he said we are not going to do that as Americans. When George Washington was confronted with the British during the, the Revolutionary War, torturing American prisoners, keeping them on coffin ships right here in New York Harbor where they're dying by the score every day, Washington said we're not going to do that. If that's what we're going to do, then, then I'm not going to be part of this conflict. And he treated, he passed orders treating prisoners so well that when he captured Trenton, New Jersey, Trent, the, the barracks of Trenton, the Hessians were so astounded by the good treatment that they had received from the Americans that they walked all the way from New Jersey to Western Pennsylvania with no guards. Because, and Dwight Eisenhower during World War II, again said, no matter what the Nazis do, we are not going to torture them. And that's one of the reasons the Nazis gave up, the Germans gave up so quickly to us because they knew they were going to be treated well by Americans.